does an ADHD brain map look like? I'm Dr. Trish Lee. I'm going to explain it to you now. In the graphics that you're seeing on your screen, on the left-hand side is the ADHD brain map. If you were to have a traditional QEEG brain map performed in my private office at Lee Brain and Spine. On the right-hand side is the newest, most advanced brain mapping system that we're using, which I call our BrainShift program. And this is the Brain Performance Spiderweb. So there are two different visual representations of how your brain is using electrical energy or speed and showing us if it has the pattern that is scientifically proven to create ADHD symptoms. And just so you know, there is a boatload of science that shows that this indeed is the brain map pattern for ADHD. And not only that, there's tons of scientific studies that show that this pattern can be reversed using neurofeedback brain training with very little regression, meaning you would go backwards and start using ADHD symptoms again, and with no side effects. So visit my website at drtrishley.com or at leebrainandspine.com so you can see that scientific article for yourself. But I digress, let's get into the brain map. On this brain map for ADHD, and especially if you've seen my video on the optimal brain map pattern, you will see a stark difference. So a typical or optimal or normal brain map is all green. If someone struggles with ADHD, they're born with their brain using too much theta slow brain processing speed. So it's called a slow wave disorder. And we know it's neurodevelopmental in nature, meaning people are born with a brain that is going too slow. That slowness is what creates distraction, lack of focus, difficulty with productivity, difficulty with executive function skills like planning and organization and all things learning. That is because there's too much theta slow speed being used across the brain. Simultaneously, we see there's too little fast speed beta for thinking and for focus. So we know it's too fast because there's three or more levels being used. That's what the red means. Too low, dark blue is three levels too low of focus and thinking speed for cognitive processing. So it's a double whammy. It's called the theta to beta ratio. And what it looks like is too much theta, too little beta. It creates difficulty with focus, distraction, hyperactive behaviors are a compensatory strategy for the brain. If you just think about it, if the brain's trying to fall asleep, that's what theta mode is, falling asleep and it doesn't have enough kick it into go gear mode of beta, the brain has to do something to offset the feeling that it's gonna slow down and fall asleep. And many children articulate this. If you say, sit still, they say, I can't, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. And many people in the office just fall asleep during their brain map because the minute they stop moving hyperactive behaviors, their brain slows down so much that it falls asleep. And hyperactivity is a behavior to offset the slowing in the brain. And we see that so many times either in physical behaviors or, and we don't see it in this particular brain map, but I also have a video on the anxiety brain map. This slowing can be offset by mental hyperactivity, which is worry or thinking, which is excessive beta and high beta, this would be red. And we know that that pattern exists together scientifically more times than not. It's called comorbid. The two patterns exist together, ADHD and anxiety. Okay, so over here on the right-hand side with our brain performance spider web, we can see in this spider web, there's basically a white gap around most of the outside of this spider web. What it is showing us is that the theta ratios are too high, too much theta is being produced. And honestly, when you have your home brain map performed, you can also see a graphic that basically shows you the same thing. There's excessive theta magnitude. At the same time, there's not enough beta. And what that means is that it's the same as looking at a red theta and a blue beta, and that gap becomes too big and they're slowing in the brain. So that is what creates ADHD and that's why the symptoms of ADHD exist. It's because the brain is going too slow in the first place. So once you know, you see it with your own eyes, you can see that you're using the ADHD brain map and we know scientifically, if you use neurofeedback brain training, what it does is it teaches your brain 
to make less theta. It teaches your brain to make more beta. And over time, you replace this mode with the optimal mode of less theta and more beta. And your thinking and your cognition and your planning, your organization, your focus all comes online because there's no more slow speed in the brain and it's going perfectly fast for, for calm focus. Totally awesome, proven by science. Okay, so I hope this helps you understand what the ADHD brain map looks like and what you can do about it once you see if you have that pattern or not. Okay, if you have any questions about the ADHD brain map, email me at info at drtrishlee.com. I'm always happy to help. Okay, remember, control your brain or it'll control you.